All right, in this video, we're going to find an arc length parameterization for the curve given by. So I'm going to define the curve here because that's going to help me out. So R of t and then colon equals. Uh, now it's a vector function, so I'm going to store it like this. So it's control and then open parentheses, and then I can type it in. So it's going to be sine of um, e to the t, so e to the t, comma, and then cosine of, I'm going to type this because it's a little faster for typing. And then uh, it's the square root of 3. And then e to the t. So when I press enter, it's going to turn those exp of t's into e to the t. OK, so I have that. Make sure you use um, either the exp of t or you use this key. Other, if you just use e, it does, the letter e, it doesn't know what you're talking about. It thinks you're literally just using the letter e. Um, and why would you do that? OK, so uh, the process here isn't really that bad. Uh, what I want to do first is I want to find the derivative of this. So I will uh, find the derivative using this. So the derivative with respect to t of, and it's r of t, and I get that. And then what I need to do is I need to find the uh, magnitude or the norm of that. So that's menu and then seven and seven. So menu, matrix, and then norm, and then enter. And I'll do that for the answer to get this. So I have that. Um, so that's a norm. Now what I want to do is I'm going to integrate this. So I'm making an arc length function here. So it's going to be a function of t. So actually, let me do this. Uh, I'm going to take the answer, and I'm going to change all the t's to u. So the answer is such that t equals u. So that just switches the variable. Um, so now what I'll do is arc length uh, function. So it's the integral from 0 to t. So I'll end up with a function of t of uh, this answer that I got. So answer with respect to u, because I changed the variable to that. So I get that. OK, so that is equal to s, the arc length. And what I want to do now is I want to solve this uh, for t. So I'm going to do menu 3, 1, and the answer for t. So I've done that. It adds this restriction that s has to be greater than uh, negative 2. The original problem, I didn't write it, but t was greater than or equal to 0. So that's actually not an issue for us. Um, so the next thing I want to do is I want to take r of t. And I want to rewrite it using this new parameter. So I'm going to do r of t such that, um, such that for you, by the way, is control equals, and then if you go one to the left, you end up there, like that. And then such that, go up, I'm going to copy and paste this. So I'm holding down shift as I arrow over it. Uh, with the new operating system, you can't really see what you're highlighting, which I think is a little disadvantage, but it's not that bad, like that. Press enter, gives me this, I have a warning. If I click on that, it'll tell me the domain of the result might be larger than the domain of the input because it did uh, some simplifications. So now I have this. So this is actually my arc length parameterization. Um, so what I might do is uh, I'm going to store this as um, a new function. Uh, so control and then store as, well, I'm, I'm actually just going to store over my previous one. So I'm going to store that as r of s. Now what's nice about this is if I find the norm of the derivative of this, so with respect to s, and you could change that variable back to t at this point if you wanted to. Um, I just chose not to. So if I find the derivative of r of s, and I get that, which is kind of messy. But the idea here is I find the norm of that, menu 7, 7, and then of the answer, it's equal to 1. Um, so that is my arc length parameterization. Um, they have a the norm of the derivative or the uh, speed. So sometimes it's referred to as a unit speed parameterization is always one. So the speed is the magnitude of velocity. Velocity is the derivative of the function. And the magnitude of the derivative was equal to one. So it's unit speed. Um, and so that has that kind of interesting property. Well, it's not really interesting. And it's kind of obvious, but some people don't really think about it. If I integrate from 0 to k, the norm, so menu 7, 7 of the derivative, really just the answer that I have up there, but the norm of the derivative uh, with respect to s, because I have s there, of r of s, um, with respect to s, I'm always going to get k. Um, so that's how you do it. You start out, go way, way back up. I started out with the function. I took its derivative. I found the norm of that to get this. Um, I switched the variable because I was going to have to integrate. 
So I switched the variable to u. Um, I integrated from 0 to t to get a function of t. So I said s was equal to that. And then what I did was I solved for t. So I solved for t to get a new parameter. So t is equal to this new parameter of s, or a new function of s. And I substitute back into my original, which gave me this. This is the arc length parameterization. And then I just kind of confirmed it um, by taking the derivative and looking at the magnitude of that. I got 1. So for all values of s, the magnitude would be 1. And then the integral from 0 to k is equal to k, um, which means if you spend uh, whatever k seconds walking along your curve, you're going to go k units along that curve. So it's a unit speed parameterization. Um, and that's how you do it. So I hope you found this helpful, and good luck.